what's up guys, it's Vader and I'm back with another figure review for you guys today and it's on the Game Dimensions Tekken line and we're taking a look at the Tekken 7 Kazia figure which obviously is from Namco Bandai's Game Dimensions series um, quick look at the box here um, pretty nicely um, detailed look at the box um, obviously this is the Tekken 7 the Tekken 7 um, Kazuya it just says Tekken there on the side and obviously at the front it says Tekken as well but we've got some little pictures here as well some like CG renders obviously of how Kazuya looks in the actual game and obviously you've got Ka uh, Heihachi there in the wave as well and some obviously game pictures there of how he looks in the game which is really cool it's a really collector friendly box which I really like as well it's it's got like um like a little backdrop that you can actually take out and like put it as like a backdrop with the actual figure itself which is really cool and you can have him like posed with this excess with the um, the round one um, little accessory there which is a really cool touch and it's a different colour to the Tekken 8 one so we'll look at the accessories now obviously like I mentioned you get the round one stand and you get a little electric um, accessory which is supposed to be like Kazuya performing an electric one god first but he goes DURIA unfortunately I went and repainted the actual hands that's why those hands there are blue because I'm actually giving this away to a friend of mine that, and he actually asked me could you paint the hands that's why the hands are actually blue they don't actually come with that I've just basically painted it um, but the hands that are actually on the figure right now are actually the, the actual hands that come out of the box so that's something to note but you do get a fisted hand and a a hand that's kind of for his like rage art. It's more like the one for Tekken, uh, Tekken 8 where he like does it in Tekken 8 where he like puts his hand up against his face. Like kind of like how this looks. But it's a really, it's a really nicely articulated figure as well. Um, and some of the details on him as well like the actual chest scar and obviously the scars round about them. My only little gripe is the actual scars that are actually supposed to be around them, as you see here, the actual in-game model. I actually basically had to paint all the scars on them because when I got them out of the box, they're not there. They're there, but they're like, it's as if they never like painted over them. So that's basically what I've went and done is I've went and painted all of the little scars on him and even the scar at the back of him as well because out of the box he doesn't actually have any paint apps on the scars they're just basically um, like the actual detail of the actual figure there's no like colouring or anything on them but I will say this about the actual um, gi like the actual outfit it's really well done and when I got him out of the box he felt a lot more heavier than the actual Jin figure that I've got from the same line. The only problem is um, the Jin is from the Tekken 8, the Tekken 8 line. This is like obviously the Tekken 7 line. But they're all, they're a lot more affordable. If you can't afford the, the Storm Collectibles one, this is a a much um, better route to go, much more affordable. And obviously this is the actual accessory on him, um, the uh, electric wind um, god fist, so that's basically how that goes on, you basically take the, art, the hand off and then you slot it into place and then you put the hand back on and it kind of looks like he's actually doing the electric wind god fist, however I do prefer the storm collectibles line, where it's like Obviously the uh, electric effects there, but it goes all the way down to like his, like his, um, I think it's his knees. 
So it's as if he's like performing it and it's like the, the effects coming from his knees right up to his fist. It looks really cool. But this is a really cool um, accessory as well. And obviously we get a look at the ex, um, articulation there at the back. Which he has a lot of. Like he's got an ab crunch and stuff. And obviously the hands are on like a ball joint. Same with the feet. So he is pretty poseable. You can get him into some really cool dynamic poses. I actually have purchased a, a Kazia head that's on Etsy that's a lot more accurate than the actual head that's on him right now but this is still this is still good and this is the little accessory with the um, the round one on it and I basically have them next to um, Jin just showing you guys what that actually would look like and it looks really sick. If you're good at like taking like pictures of like your figures and stuff like like I do, you can basically like have like a backdrop set up, Photoshop the actual stand part out of it, and it looks pretty sick. It looks really sick. And the detail on the gi itself is really nice. And something you'll notice about the Jin figure compared to the Kazia is his um, pants slash gi, there's no, it's like an actual rubberized um, material that they've used for that to give, it a, a, to give it a more realistic effect than obviously the Casia one. I think that's probably why he's a lot more heavier than the, the Jin figure because it's one sculpted um, piece rather than obviously having the Jin one where it's like rubberized. This is like me just showing you guys the articulation on him right now. You can get him in, like I mentioned, some pretty dynamic poses. Um, and the hands are on ball joints as well, so you can like articulate the hands as well, which is really cool. And he's got an ab crunch as well, where the actual scar part is on his chest. He's actually got an ab crunch. Basically the same as the Jin, the, the Jin figures get like an ab crunch as well. And his head's on a ball joint as well so you can like articulate it as well. Same with his neck. You can actually see the articulation on the actual figure right now as I'm showing you. Like he's got like some really good articulation on him. The knees as well have got quite good articulation, so there he is with the ab crunch up. Kind of looks like a Street Fighter pose there, like Ryu, Ryu's fight pose, which is really cool. <laughs> now we're trying out some Van Damme pose in here, we've got him doing the splits, and he can do the splits and hold them um, pretty well. They're, you're not damaging anything on them, like if you were trying to do this with the gin figure I would I wouldn't try this because with the um, the paint on that one you probably will end up getting some like little scuffs of paint missing but obviously because this is all one sculpted piece you can leave this long term and nothing will get damaged I did mention I forgot to mention as well I did paint the actual parts on his feet the guards as well more like a dark red but I need to go over them again with the blue and you'll notice here the the actual leg part goes down a bit you have to like clench it up and then like it'll go back into place that's what I noticed straight out of the box it's like the feet the legs don't actually like um, go down that well you have to like kind of like put a little bit of pressure on them not too much though but like just enough to get it back into like the waist part of it so another look at the back as well it does have really good um like knee articulation it's like mainly on the knee like you can basically like um put it all the way back as if he's like kicking his own ass which is pretty funny
and now we're looking at look at the um, the size comparison between him and Jin. And obviously this is the Tekken 8 version of Jin. But they're still actually in scale with one another. Kazi's a lot bigger than Ka uh, Jin in the actual game. And you'll see here that he's actually they've actually got they've actually kinda got that right. He's a little bit bigger than Jin. Not totally like massive like compared to Jin, but like the, it's it's a lot different. It's a lot noticeable when you've actually got it in hand. And I think the king figure as well. I'm I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I think the king the king figure is actually um, bigger as well than these two. Because obviously that's how it is in the game. Like king is a a big beefy guy. I would have, I would like to see if they actually do, I'd actually like to see them do like a Tekken 7 style gin with like the actual hoodie or the gi, like the flaming um, pants gi, that'd be really cool to see. So basically my final thoughts on this figure is, it's a, it's a perfect figure, there's no, nothing I can um, fault. My only little gripe is the actual paint apps on them. Like, to actually have to paint all the stuff yourself is kind of a bit tedious. That's just a little nitpick I've got with the figure. Um, other than that, he's a, he's a perfect figure. And he's actually really great value for the money. Um, because with the, um, the McFarlane Warhammer figures that I've been collecting, don't really get any like extra hands or accessories it's just basically the figure and a gun and that's it and obviously a stand but with this you get like a, a variety of accessories so that'll do it for this video i hope you guys have enjoyed it remember to like comment share and subscribe and i will catch you guys in the next video as always guys take care and thanks for watching cheers guys thanks